Happy Monday, you guys. Hope y'all had a good weekend. It is Monday, and Mondays are ruled by the moon. And today, ooh, so the moon is in Pisces, Scorpio. So um, this is a lot of things transforming, uh, old things leaving. So something new can come in. So something new can be lived, right? Uh, kind of like how I switch things up, switch things around so that that sun wouldn't be out within my glasses. That was really bothering me. I wasn't saying anything about it. But here we are. Okay, so um, yes, we may have had some family things come up. Um, we, like on the world stage kind of thing, we can look at this whole, um, uh, what do they call it when the president comes up and gives a message how uh, he came and talked about the child tax credit stuff. That's Moon in Scorpio, because Scorpio has to do with things of that nature: taxes, loans, bank, um, any kind of entity that you borrow money from. Okay, so um, and this can also be speaking about internal transformation happening as well. Um, it is in a Jupiter is now at a zero degree in in Pisces is about to ingress back into Jupe, into Aquarius, right? So this is in a square to the moon in Scorpio, right? Because it is um, uh, Scorpio and Aquarius are square one another. They're tense in, in their expression of going about things, right? Of existing. So what has been revealed? may be causing some tension. What has come up, what you have to um, uh, deal with, in a sense, what you have to transform, what you have to, what you have to change, what has come to surface, what has come out of the shadows into light has changed the way in which we're traveling, the direction we're going, or more so how we're going about it, coming out of this elusive state of being, like this kind of Pisces is kind of lethargic in a sense. Um, when it comes to reality, because it's more so in the idealistic nature of things, right? So um, these are bringing up aspects in ways of going about living, right? That force us to come and focus on the details of what has to go and what needs to come in for things to be successful. For things to, um, to deal what ha with what has been hidden all this time, you know. Um, so Jupiter also speaks about institutions, I mean, Pisces, institutions, prisons, and things of, like that. So we may also be coming out of any type of prison. We may be recognizing how we have imprisoned ourselves. And this may have been something in regards to familial things that have been confounded that we have been facing, have been dealing with. Okay, and it's in another tenth aspect to Venus, um, to partially Mars as well. So this is about us really being able to have our um, our freedom and independence in a sense of doing things how we want to do them and uh, family, things of family, things that we have to take care of getting in the way, that karma getting in the way, right? So, or more so coming up so things can be healed so that they can work out um, in a more effective and efficient way, you know, in um, a way that everything can be handled, dealt with, so that the, the shadows can be cleared out, dealt with, right? So it's also in a benevolent aspect to the sun, which is cancer, ruled by the moon, right? So with these two energies, things this may have some things to do in regards to our roots, our family, our mother, our emotions, hidden things of the hidden nature, things that are rooted in the depths of us, our roots, right? And uh, just seeing things clearly, what has to be done, and just doing that, you know, just facing reality, basically, not, um, not letting any, no longer throwing the blanket over stop it, no longer pushing water under the bridge, right? Just handling it 
because we can, it's accessible in, in taking care of that. Um, now, this moon of sun aspect, it can also um, be a very emotional time for some of us, especially dealing with um, the shadow aspect of ourselves, but this is bringing healing. This is helping us work through our fears, right? This is helping us uh, see the light in, in the depths of us, bringing light to the depths of us, you know, so that we can further more um, continue to be in the flow, right? And acknowledge the ebbs for what they are, right? So um, let's see, what cards do you have for us today, Spirit? What would you like for us to take with us with this energy? Who would you like for us to know? What guidance, what insight, what advice? Do you have for us? The moon is also in a sextile to Pluto. So this is a benevolent aspect that needs work. Things are coming up. Things that from, again, Pluto is the ruler of, of Scorpio, right? And it's in retrograde. So this is things from the past, right? This is things that we have to really edit, that we have to face because we have just been trying to throw the blanket over it, like the structure of things, they have to change. They are changing and we have to make the effort to make that happen, okay? And, and the ruler of, of Capricorn, Saturn, is in retrograde as well. And it's in the trine to the North Node in Gemini. So this is about our forward movement. This is about our future. What is our future about to look like, right? What, what do we have to do? Something about our siblings. Um, this could be in regards to grandparents as well. What is this? Yeah, so make sure that whatever is going on right now, that you are taking care of yourself. Take time to rest, take time to refuel, take time to retreat, fill up your well. Know that everything uh, will get accomplished and get done as long as you, even better, if you choose to take care of yourself in the way in which it is that you need to. Oh, wow. Um, and the bottom part we have is the age of light. So you've been training for this for a lifetime. So from whatever it is that we are experiencing, whatever it is that we're coming to, these conclusions, these, these happy times, these troublesome times, however it is that's manifesting in your life right now, it is, we have the tools. We are equipped to handle it effectively and efficiently um, in a way that is going to get shit done this hair all right stop worrying about this hair so let's see what else is here for us here what other messages do you have for us today what would you like for us to know yeah so know that all of these things that are going on yeah and we have the tower that just flew out so things are definitely changing. Things are shifting. This is a 35. It's a number eight. All right. So that, again, is Scorpio energy again. Um, but it is also the strength card energy. So needing to just be to the muscle and handling what needs to hand be handled. Um, this is 10 of wands, you know. So uh, it may seem like a burden right now, but we are also freeing ourselves of burdens by going with the flow, um, with the upheaval that's happening, right? Make, just simply make sure that you are nurturing yourself as you're taking care. You have roses here at the bottom, the rose. So um, this can be speaking about things maybe, so roses come with thorns, right? This is a nine of swords and it's a number five. So, um, this is, again, it's a lot of Leo energy here, a lot of um, self-expression, inner child energy that's happening here. So really needing to tap into that space of innocence, right, so that we are able to see the beauty in this situation, um, so that we recognize the beauty that is here, the beauty that is to come, right, and not letting the thorns um, uh, deter us right, from what needs to be taken care of, and also not letting the mind uh, affect how it is that we are going about um, handling things, how we're going about taking care of things, 
um, and, and just being steadfast in it and knowing that uh, the hard work, in a sense, will pay off. Um, you know, just really handling up on on what it is that that is needing to be taken care of because this is these are karmic situations. These are things that have been cycles, right? And it's just time to um, push them out so that uh, things can be freer, things can be lighter, things can um, flow a little bit more effort, effortlessly. Right, so take care of where it is that you're deceiving yourself, where you're deceiving others, right? And let that shift so that you can really be again in your essence, in the flow of things, in the way in which they are going to support you best, you guys. Okay, so I hope that this was helpful. Um, yes, I have a couple of I have a video I'm gonna share today, and I'll be going live today at five. If for those of you who are in need of personal readings. Um, you can contact me in my DM. I still have two donation readings available. Um, and the, you can also purchase at the link below in the description. So, you guys, I hope y'all have a beautiful day. I hope that this Plutonian energy really show you that you are capable, all right, that greatness is here and it is to come. No matter what the reality looks like at this point in time, know that everything is happening for you. Nothing is happening to you. So, thank y'all so much love.